S63 2000 something make ignition on don't start it 79687 uh, 80,000 kilometers okay don't show me the job card you make a health report I will make no okay this is a checkup you want to start the engine you said yeah okay let me go front one second yeah. what the f why it's like this this shit this is supposed to be like that one second the old time insane yep unfortunately let's put this properly oh no it's not coming properly why what's going on with that all right that's a new one uh, start it There we go. Something is wrong here, Omar. First of all, you have a long cranking. Second, there is something like, yeah, sound inside. Something is grinding. Here it's missing also the foam from the other high pressure pump. There is a drop in the ocean, but I have to mention that. Okay. So, okay, what do you want me to do on that? They change also the timing chain. They change the timing chain? Yeah. It's the old timing chain, you didn't say? Right? How they change it? But the customer say. Uh, honestly, I don't care what he says the customer. Listen up. How man. how did it chain is the timing chain and it's been polished also the timing chain, you see? Yeah. You know the point? You see the links? See th through the camera. You see the links there that's been polished? Yeah. This is not happening in the first ten thousand kilometers. The polishing of the timing chain, you get my point? And uh, they change also the camshaft adjusters. Which camera adjusters? I see burn oil on it. See, see the reading plate of the camshaft. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait. You see the reading plate here, there on the left, on yeah, the camshaft. Yeah. You see the burn oil that has on it. Yeah. See the color of the cam adjuster. Yeah. It's exactly the same. So you do a lot of things. You see, yeah. You see how fresh and nice and shiny it's one cam adjuster when it's new. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Nothing to do with that. This has burnt oil on it. Okay. So uh, we can see from the diagnostic if it's been changed the timing chain. If we see the we can see the stretch, we can see also 53 degrees through the comes of the sensors. It's not a big deal this one. This is a hardware, it's not software. We can prove anything, you know. Mm -hmm. Alright, what else? Talk, I'm listening. No no, this is the things. We make the diagnostic report and we have a misfire number under four if uh, I'm sure. Oh boy, have you seen their filters how it looks like? Uh oh. Looks like terrible. Looks like disaster. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, when I come back from school, I'm going to pick up my son now. Mm -hmm. Alright. What mm -hmm. are we gonna do? One adaptation for the camshaft. Don't warm up the engine. It has oh, okay, it's nice and cold. Alright. Uh, no, don't open anything. First I'm gonna make the uh, the adaptation for the camshafts. Okay. Then we're going to put a 53 degrees to see from the camshaft position sensors. Mm -hmm. Just to see the timing, if it's been stretched or not. Then you're going to open the spark plugs. Okay. Check the cylinders inside, compression pressure. And then I need to see also the oil filter, how it looks like. Okay. At the end. And then you use a mobile, mobile one. And what's using it is up to the owner. Whoever wants to use this type of oil, let them use it. Whoever doesn't want, let them don't use it. Love is in the air. Why in see the air? Why not? Amazing. So definitely somebody open the cover because you can see here two types of sealant. You see the... Is it two types? No, no, sorry, sorry. It was dust. It was dust. I was thinking it was a beige color and black color. Yeah, sorry. Sorry about that. My bad. All right. I mean, it has 80,000 kilometers. Eight. Okay, it has the whole timing chain. Yeah, it matters. This one. Can you please check the oil level since I'm here? Did they open the ECU before? Why has a bigger cup here? Who knows? Who knows? Yeah. 
keep it in, keep it in, keep it inside, pull inside there, leave it, leave it, leave it, oh boy, leave it a little bit, don't pull it direct, it's, it's, it's the tube and sometimes you know to enter inside it takes some time, okay lift it up, imagine that the engine is cold, ah no it's okay, it's okay, it's okay because it goes sideways, so take a look the oil, how it looks like, Oh boy! <laughs> no, I told you he used the... <laughs> Is that diesel or what? <laughs> alright, alright, here. Okay, that's the extension for the solenoid. Or the pump here, it's missing also the plastic one that has front, the pulley. The bed looks a little bit tired. Alright, so... Yep, yep, yep. All right, when I come back, we're gonna have a look on it. That's it for now. Okay, I'm here to show you something, all right? See, see what's saying here, rail pressure, 11 bar. Yeah. One of the two fuel pumps, or both the high pressure pumps, we have a problem. Now we're gonna have a long cranking because it's only 11 bar, then. Okay, this is the cold start, that's why it goes up to 180. When it comes, ah, it's flashing also the check engine. I don't know if we're gonna be able to make the adaptation. Now you see 100 bar, how it's supposed to be. See the screen flashing. Let's see also what faults has, just give me a second. Have a look on it. Um, put it over there, put it in the middle, it's much better. Right, you need to warm up at 70 degrees to be able to make a rotation for the. The position of the exhaust comes after cylinder bank one. Compassion number four, uh, misfire number four, misfiring. Okay, so exhaust comes after cylinder bank one, that means passenger side, exhaust comes after. Oh boy. They, they drove it here, the car? They drove it. Okay. How? We cannot make it... Uh, how fast is dropping down the, the pressure? Let me switch it off. Ignition on. You see the fuel pressure how it's dropping down? 93, 92, it's supposed to be, to don't be like that. Now we're gonna have a long cranking, actually have a long cranking for two reasons. One comes at south and the low, the high pressure pump. Yep. Or there is a problem with the fuel injector. It can be the number four fuel injector. Maybe. Yeah. I do not touch him, so yeah, I need to warm it up. It has to reach at 70 degrees to to make the adaptation to see the result, if it gives us any result. Because if it's out of limit, it's not going to give you anything. It's going to tell you that it failed. Yeah, waiting for a couple of minutes to warm up. All right, let's do it. You understand what I'm saying? There is a schedule, there is some maintenance. Yeah. It's always the responsibility of the driver and from the garage that's maintaining its vehicle. If the auxiliary battery have a faulty, I did not see that. Oh battery. boy. Oh boy, that's the first time that I see that. How many degrees? 22.5 degrees. All. All. Right intake, left intake, right exhaust, left exhaust. 22.5 degrees. And, <laughs> what's out? Adaptation of the <laughs> fairness position of the camshafts was completed successfully. <laughs> the... Oh boy, something is really wrong there, you know? I haven't seen that before. First time I see that. Okay, okay. okay we have a proof now. <clears throat> Let's see how it's gonna be. 
We're gonna accept it to be 22 degrees out. How the how how the possible still is working is not touching me, bro. It's not a, it's not interfering. Even if you go one teeth in or out, but this is very weird. It cannot be all of them. It cannot be all of them 22.5 degrees. This is something's really wrong here. It cannot be all four comes out at exactly 22.5 degrees. Fuel pressure the system too low. Yeah, I know that. Tell me something new. One second. Clear faults. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the old one. You have to turn it off. It's different to see you. Have to turn it off. Wait 10 seconds. Turn it on. Okay. I'm gonna pause it. All right. Let's see the faults. No fault. Let's start it. Why not? Let's see the, uh, the read data stream. The where was where was I? Ta give me a second to find it. One second. Okay. Intake exhaust exhaust intake. I want to see the battery voltage. It's written up there. Twelve point seven volt, but it's frozen. Well, we're gonna go in. Injection time. Okay. Anything else? We'll get also the manifold pressure. Let's also see. This is supposed to be the absolute. Okay. So what do we have here? What in hell we have here? 14.7 volts. Okay. Exhaust. Left. Exhaust. Right. Minus 21. Minus 25. Intake is 53 and 50. And the speed is okay, and section time. I think manifold is okay, 0 0.7, 0 0.6 bar vacuum. And yeah, acceptable. The, the campsites are way off. The thing, you know what's the thing? I make the, I make, I make the adaptation, and now he accepted, it. it's not flashing anymore. It's happy as it is. <laughs> Maybe to do that with something they see? No, no, it's not. It's not even running probably. The sound? The sound can be from the pump, you know. Whoa. Nobody opened the, the stick here to see the lever? Ah, all right. No, okay, it's more than full. Do you understand why they do not open? Yeah. I mentioned really all of this Has a leak. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This it might be from the power steering pump, the hydraulic pump. Uh, one pull, it definitely makes sound. You can hear it. Yeah. It's rubbing. Here they make it with a bronze. Oh, it's called this one. Bronzing. He accepted the timing. <laughs> Even like that. <laughs> All right, Omar, <clears throat> listen up, continue. Yeah, it's not flashing. It's gonna be out of range, actually. It's not flashing in second thing. It's all over the place. But you fix the timing, you know. You, you no, it's not the, I am, as your assistant, bro. See. We still have a problem with the high pressure pumps. What I want from you to be able to continue. Open all the spark plugs to have an eye inside of the cylinder, see what it looks like, to get the compression pressure, all right? Uh, then uh, the damper pull it down at 53 degrees. We're gonna spin it, we're gonna open the cams of the sensors, just to see if they are lying properly, if divide the, the whole of the sensor. And we're moving on with the checkup. We have a jack to put it on the jack. TTRS? TTRS. All right, so okay, okay. Okay, okay that's it target. for now. I have one more CLS. Okay, when you're gonna be, when you're gonna put on the jack, let me know. Yeah, yeah, I know, bro. That's it for now. Omar! Yo. It's surprising clean, eh? You saw that? This one? It's very clean. Yeah, I told you they open, bro. I told you the customer told me, man. They do here. The job.
Yeah, definitely the open covers. Definitely the open covers. And so what? They, they changed and they put the old timing chain and the old cam adjuster? This one, uh, David and Barcasmo told me they put new chain. It makes no sense. Okay, pause a little bit the spark plugs. How many you have open? Two. On oh. this side. Where are they? Here, yeah, here. Yeah. Okay, make it up. I want to see the car from down. Okay. I want to have an eye. Uh, have a eye. I have an eye. I want to have an eye from down. Yeah. Pull. Pull. You want to pick up? Yeah, please make it up. Make it up. It looks nice and clean. Omar, you open the cover here? Yes, I opened. I opened. Hi, I, did. I did. You did ah. it, huh? You opened the right. yeah. Remove the cover. Are you? How long are you there? Okay, the cylinder head, nobody touched the cylinder head. This is the correct nut here on the tie rod. This one, it's definitely not. I don't know what they did over there. This is one small nut, small crack, not something crazy. Let's see if there is any problem here. Nice and very clean. How the fucked up the timing? So bad. Alright. Okay. It's very clean car, eh? Omar. It's very clean and has low mileage. So, who is the Mr. Explosion who fixed the timing on this car? 3621. Come here. Okay, outside here. It's very clean car, eh? You see? Yeah, this is Oh, this is not the best. It's not even the best. Run the first one. 1021. Alright. Did they resurface the brake rotors now, or did they change it? No, they resurface it. You can see a mark from some paper here. We have not included some specs. Yeah, yeah, you can see here that they clean the surface here. Okay. What is it? Am I blind now or what? Am I missing something? Ten twenty one.
Most probably I'm blind. What is that? This is what says Marshall. Okay. I, said, okay. I did saw it here outside. I saw it on the rear one. Ah, there is a rotation, and they put the other way around. <laughs> See the rotation. Yeah. They make it like this. This is the front right, the front right tire. Okay. They make it the other way around. Let's see the other one. Let's see this one. There is a narrow, there is no... Where is the socket? The small one. Just know what you have here. You holding your hand? What is this from inside or what? Same like this. Another one. Ha! Huh. Rotation. Again. <laughs> yeah. This, this tire as it is with the rim, you have to take it and put it front right. And the front right, you have to put it on the front left to be correct rotation. If you take this one and you put it here like that, it will gonna be correct. They mix up the tires. Drunk. I don't know, drunk or not drunk, who knows. Mm, yeah, anyhow, okay. All right, John? all right. Make it down, continue with the spark plugs. All right, let's see. We'll be able to see that. It's C Omar. Yeah. I can't tell you this. It's I doubt it'll gonna be at 53 degrees. That's number one. Mm -hmm. Because all the cameras are out. Okay. Okay. Most probably it's out by one tooth. One teeth. Tooth or teeth or whatever. I, I don't have a clear view on the pulley to see the 53 degrees, all right? But if you come here, it's supposed to divide the cancer position sensor, the hole here in the middle, the reading wheel, all right? The intake, it's almost in the middle. The exhaust, this, you can see that only when the timing chain stretched. It's not exactly in the middle. It's more to the left. If it was one full teeth out, mm -hmm. it can be way out or this way or this way so now because i have here mr roma he says to me ah the customer he says the timing chain for me what i see here assuming let us say that down on the damper pulley tell them to stop tell them to stop hammering assuming let us say that the damper pulley is at 50 degrees exactly all right so, so you have to see the reading wheel the reading plate here to to divide in the middle exactly it's completely out of the all over the place And most probably it's from down. That means ah. all of them, they're out. It's not, the, most probably they didn't find the 40 degrees down or the 53 degrees down. They was thinking it was there. They didn't have a clear view and they set it up. But again, the timing change is nothing new. I believe you, but I, I saw this one. It's not about believing or not. It's what I see with my eyes. How many ends, how many ends we have with M057? I can show you. I don't remember if I put at 50 degrees this sensing before. Okay, you know what are we gonna do? Listen up. I'll go and show you how, how we're gonna prove it. Um, I don't know if it has a stretch time chain this one. Put this, uh, this uh, engine at 50 degrees, open the sensors here. Let's see on this engine. Again, assuming that the, this engine is already at 50 degrees. This, I have no clue how many kilometers has this engine, honestly. Has the blue diamond chain, okay. You get my point? You can be one teeth completely out in all of the gears mm -hmm. and don't be at 50 degrees down. That's why you need to have a clear view. You have to see the mark and you, you have to remove all the sensors. Please, bring the 30 torques, remove all the sensors. Uh, clean bit the damper pulley there to find clear the... Uh, I want to put also on the video that's at 53. Yeah, also this one has the stretch timing chain. <laughs> Take a look where it is. We have an M57 healthy here. I have the engine inside the engine room. You have inside, that's oh boy, yeah, I put the sparklers, I put the fuel injectors. And I put the, okay, I'm going inside to make it. God damn it. Before God. you go inside, I want to put the Bentley. Which Bentley? Uh, yeah, let me, let me finish this one to finish the video. And um, yeah. What I'm talking about, 53 degrees here, 
on the mark and supposed to divide in the middle the reading wheel, the hole. Yeah, I, I didn't open this side. I have the same video how many times? How to double check the timing and where it's supposed to be. And the same thing also if I if I show you on the computer, it's the same thing, what I'm saying. You want me to put it on the computer? Let screw it, let me put it on the computer also. That's the 53 degrees mark. That's the 40. And this is how it's supposed to look like from up. Like this and like this. Where is the capsule of the sensor? Alright, that's what I'm talking about. Now, if it's not exactly in the center, when, if you start the engine and uh, it has a hydraulic pressure, it has an oil pressure on the tensioners and everything is nice and tight, how it's supposed to be, and then you put at 53 degrees and you see uh, that's exactly in the middle, you have to deal with one nice healthy timing chain and everything's in place and everything's properly. Now, when it's in this condition, let us say, it can be one millimeter, let us say, out, up or down, it depends, because the timing chain tension has not been deployed perfectly, it does have a oil pressure behind of it, and it's normal. So, when you see that it has, it's not exactly, when, on an engine that's running, you turn it off, has a pressure behind, and you put it at 50 degrees, and you don't see that's dividing perfect, when you make the adaptation with the, for the cancers from the diagnostic, you see 3, 4 degrees, 2 to 3 to 4 degrees. 5 degrees, it's the limit. A new timing chain, it's near to zero. It's minus 0 0.3 degrees to plus 0 0.3 degrees, somewhere there. In that case, sorry, I don't think so it has a new timing chain or guides, or a, also guides, or a cam adjusters. That's my, that's my opinion, that's what I'm thinking. That's it, finished. Thank you very much. We can see what he wants to do, the customer. Most probably he's going to go back to the previous garage and to tell them that uh, something's going on. I don't know. Yeah. Thank you.